Hello again. I'm Andrew Smith from the Cisco module team at the Open University. What you're looking at here is a set of common network cables you might find connected to your Cisco router or any other routers on your network. As you can see, they're all different shapes and you will also discover some of them have different cabling configurations as well. These two cables at the front are called serial cables. They're used to connect your wide area network from your internet service provider to your router. As you can see, we've got quite a long one here that has got something called a DCE, data circuit equipment, and DTE, data terminal equipment. If you look closely, you can see they've got different connectors at either side, a male connector and a female connector. The female connector is the end that controls the speed and the bandwidth. The male connector is like your old modems from many years ago, and they will receive the signal and they're totally controlled by this end. This smaller serial cable is exactly the same as its larger compatriot. The only difference is the female connector is actually wired inside this connector so that you wouldn't actually see the male and female connector type wiring, but otherwise they're exactly the same. These are often used in large server rooms or large cabinets full of many, many routers. Also, we have something called a console cable. In an earlier video in this book, we mentioned that you would have a console connection from your personal computer to the router. This is used to configure the device. You'll see that this end goes straight into the router. This end connects to a serial port on your personal computer. Many modern PCs do not have a serial port anymore. And what we often do is we have a USB to serial adapter to make these work. Finally, we have two cables that look very similar to each other. One is an Ethernet crossover cable. One is an Ethernet straight cable. As far as you are concerned from a visual inspection, you would think that they're exactly the same. This Ethernet crossover cable, when we look closely, you will see that the wires are crossed over so that two like devices, like a network switch to a network switch, or a network router to a network router can be connected together. And years ago, they used to connect two personal computers together like this, so that they could share data before there were um, wireless and before there were local area networks common in a lot of companies. This straight cable you will often see, and you've probably got one connected to your home router and to your personal computer at home. At the ends of this cable, they're both exactly the same, and they're used to connect unlike devices to each other, so you'll connect the switch to a personal computer or a switch to a router.